So my, my name is Mark Campanale. I'm the director and founder of the Carbon Tracker Initiative. Now, very simply put, we have a very limited amount of time uh, uh, of left to burn fossil fuels at the current rate before we exceed a two degrees target or a three, de three degrees target. We've taken um, all of the companies that are involved in developing coal, oil and gas that are listed on stock exchanges from New York, London to Tokyo, Sydney and Johannesburg and they're all developing fossil fuels which they have as reserves or finding more which they call resources to convert to reserves and we added up all of that uh, fossil fuel into and converted it into carbon dioxide, so future emissions and then ask the question what would happen if you burn all that fossil fuel that's already been financed based on current emissions and growth in emissions depending on which scenario, these are based on different scenarios for the growth and demand business as usual um, demand flattening to achieve certain climate goals, whichever way we look at it, um, we will probably look, it looks like based on current emissions, unless there's significant reductions in emissions in the next 10 years, that we will burn through a 2 degrees warming budget within about 18 years. Now, uh, others have put it a little bit longer than that, 20, 23 years, but after that it probably looks that we will have locked in 2 degrees and rapidly going there one after to 3 degrees. If we look at the power base, we'll know looking at his previous uh, meetings of the COP, that there has been a lobby of fossil fuel industries to try and prevent or suspend or to stop or interfere with agreements on, on climate. And the reason for this is the big corporations of the world, as governments come and go, and lobbyists come and go, the, the, the lobbyists of the fossil fuel industry just remain fixed because this has been their industry for 100 years, and they're very powerful. And if we start to change what those companies can do, then it will affect the profits that they can make. On the left, the IPCC define a carbon budget based on a 50% probability of achieving a particular outcome. So when we talk about carbon budgets, and Bill McKibben and myself talk about a 565 gigaton budget, this is what's already listed, which is the reserve 762 gigatons of fossil fuel. And then what you see there is um, the 1,500 gigatons. This is what we'll be expanding. So if the budget's 565, you can see quite clearly that the budget doesn't fit into the 1541. This is the, what corporations, we know from our analysis, the corporations will spend over the next 10 years increasing the amount of available fossil fuels. So the difference between all this additional fossil fuel um, and the climate limits of 2 degrees, we call unburnable carbon. And so the bubble is really just the difference between the two budgets. How much can we burn to stay to 2 degrees, and how much have we financed? Now, investors to date, have not really come to terms with the understanding that fossil fuels will have to stay in the ground. Investors, the investment banks, the fund managers continue to believe that all fossil fuels will be burned. Very simply put, it is not illegal to mine for coal, it is not e illegal to burn for coal, it is not illegal to burn oil. Therefore, all of it, and ev every last part of it, is financeable, is burnable, based on current understandings by the investment banks. Well, it's the basic principles in, in business and in investment, ma in investment management and in investing is that don't spend money developing assets which could become worthless. It's just a waste of, of capital. Now, what we're seeing today is that some of the largest corporations in the world, which are oil and coal companies and gas companies, undertaking huge capital expenditure programs. The figure we put is $7 trillion over the next 10 years to develop projects which would take us beyond two degrees. Now, if they get cancelled, then uh, those, that capital will be sunk, it will be probably lost in projects which are not viable, um, and that will end up meaning investors and companies lose money and shareholders will have wasted the capital.